G'day. And I'd like to do a bit of a different video this time. Basically, I want to talk about retro gaming, as always, but I want to talk about ways to do it. I mean, we all know about DOSBox, right? I use DOSBox uh, ECE, but we all know about DOSBox. We all know about the amazing Scum VM, you know, which has all a host of adventure games in it. But there's actually a period of games which are very hard to get running in modern Windows. So DOSBox covers pretty much every single DOS game you can think of. And because of the way things works, that carries sort of into this era. And Scum VM supports a host of games from all over the shop, you know, just whatever the the contributors were interested in adding to the engine. But what actually happens for retro gamers is that there's this sort of period 3.1 windows 3.1 to you know sort of the 98 windows 98 era windows me era there's a section of games that are very difficult to get running on modern computers they don't work in dos because they're not dos games there was no dos version they don't work in scum vm because they are not supported and they are hard to get running on Windows itself. A great example of this is Discworld 3. So I've got Discworld 1 and Discworld 2 in Scum VM, but Scum VM does not support Discworld 3, even though they do support Windows games, like Blade Runner is a, is a Windows game and that's supported. So Discworld 3 is kind of forgotten by a lot of people, except for the people that played it at the era, because you can't do it in DOSBox, can't do it in Scum. So how do you play these games? And there's a number of ways to do it. And I'm going to, that's what this video is going to be about. I'm going to be talking about the two major ways you can play old games, old Windows games on modern Windows. And there's basically two ways to go about it. You've got virtualization or you've got a 3D wrapper. Now, virtualization is when you actually run an entire OS in a virtual hardware emulated computer. So it's, it's like a little tiny computer in a window. And there's many different apps that allow you to do this. You've got VirtualBox, which is probably the most used, especially by Windows users. It's free, very robust, has a lot of great stuff about it. The real problem with VirtualBox is that at version 6.1, they completely removed 3D acceleration. So you just can't, you can't play a lot of games in VirtualBox because in the modern VirtualBox, you actually, if you go to the downloads, uh, somewhere there's a link to go to old versions here we are, older builds. And basically anything from version six, you, sh you can still get virtualization, but I would suggest going to 5.2. Anything in 5.2 is probably your best bet for good virtualization support. There's also VMware. Now VMware is an extremely good virtualization solution, but unfortunately, a lot of its best features are behind a pretty expensive paywall because, I mean, VirtualBox as well, both these applications are aimed at big business and they've sort of been adopted by the gaming community because, you know, you can virtualize, you know, old OSs in them. But VM still supports 3D acceleration and does it extremely well. Like if you want to run Windows XP or something and you want to get full 3D effects pass through. This is a great solution for Windows. Then there is QEMU. Now QEMU is really only for Linux users. This is the one that I use the most on uh, one of my laptop, which is a Linux system. This is what I'm on now is my gaming machine, which is a Windows one. This is the one that I would recommend for Linux. It's extremely robust. The win it has a Windows version, but the Windows version is quite behind the uh, the rest of the the development cycle. The 
one on Linux has full 3D acceleration and pass-through support, all that kind of stuff. But the Windows one doesn't at all. I mean, there is like a hack version you can get with Glide VFX and all this kind of stuff. But you have to know how to compile it yourself or you have to pay those devs, which is weird that you have to pay for what is essentially a free product. But anyway, QEMU if you're using Linux, excellent option. Now, the problem with all three of these is that they all have the advantages and disadvantages. VirtualBox doesn't really support 3D acceleration anymore. VMware has some really awesome features like screen stretching behind paywalls and it's quite expensive. And if you're a Windows user, QEMU doesn't really work yet. It's just, you know, a few years from now, it might be the best one for all systems. And all three of these, regardless of why you choose them, have an issue with 3.1 and Windows 95, 98. And it's just because that system is so old, these virtualization things, they're not really designed for running old games like that. They can run them and they can run them pretty well, but you will run into issues, particularly with cycle speeds. So if you run DOSBox, right? DOSBox has built-in functions to control how fast the emulation runs. So the, you know, they're not going ridiculously quick. That's one of the issues that you get in the other virtualization apps that I just mentioned. But there is an extremely good solution for retro gamers called PCMU or PCEM. Now PCEM is a hardware emulator that they then physically run the old OS's on. It's very, very good, sleek little application. Unfortunately, as of the 14th of June, Sarah Walker, the legend behind this project, is quitting the development of this project. I believe they're still looking for people to take over the GitHub repo. It'll probably continue, but at the moment, it's it's a dead project, which means there's no more updates. Luckily, there's a very active project called 86box, which is a fork of PCEM. And this is the one that I recommend everybody use for retro gaming, okay? As a emulated version of retro gaming. Basically, it's the same as PCEM. I mean, it's it's a fork of the same code, but they've added some extra funky stuff into it. And the the real point is that it's no, it's it's still being developed. So these are really, I mean, there are other options out there. You know, like there's a, that one that there was an emula, a PC emulator that came out for PlayStation Four, which has been ported to Linux and stuff. But whatever, these are the really the options you have if you want to emulate Windows three point one. Or Windows 95. You can actually run 3.1 and 95 and stuff inside DOSBox, but it's it's really not as good as running it on PCM or on 86 box. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how I set up 86 box. I've talked about these ones here, and I'm basically saying don't use them. I'm saying PCEM is very good, but until the project becomes live again, I would stick with 86 box. 86 box is very good. There is one other thing you can do, and that is use a wrapper. So uh, what is it? DG Voodoo 2, there we are, bam. So DG Voodoo 2 is a DirectX, Direct Draw, 3DFX Glide, blah, 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 wrapper that allows pretty much most games on Windows, no matter what version, to run on a modern computer. It's ridiculously good at what it does, and it's it's very, very impressive. Then you don't, the great thing about using Voodoo 2, DG, uh, DG Voodoo 2, whatever it's called, and there are some other versions of this kind of thing. This is the one I use. The great thing about this is, is that there's no virtualization. 
okay? See, when you're virtualizing hardware, there is a performance drop, quite a significant performance drop. You need quite chunky computers to really be able to push the games. Now, obviously, the games that I play are pretty low end. I mean, they're just usually just 2D graphics, you know, point and click adventure games. That's what I like to play with my retro gaming. So I can get away with virtualization. But if you want to run like Unreal 2 or something, you might have issues. So DG Voodoo 2, this little application here, will allow you to run them on Windows natively with no virtualization and they'll be super good. You still can run into cycle problems of the games just being way too fast. But, you know, this is something to try. In this video, I might split it into a couple of videos, but in this video series, let's say, I'll just make this an introduction. So in this video series, I'm going to talk about how to build and set up 86 box to run Windows 98 Special Edition. And if people want, I will do one for PC EM as well. I will also show you how to use DJ Voodoo 2 to get your games running that way. And I will also show you how to use VMware and the old builds of VirtualBox to get 3D accelerated Windows XP. And that's about that. So that's the end of the introduction. So this is just gonna be how I retro game basically. Uh, I will also be talking about sound fonts and stuff like that. So yeah. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.